Hi there. So today I want to show you how to use MailChimp, actually a new feature of MailChimp to uh, connect your GroovePage contact form to your inbox. So if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when I'm showing another video or the act or a tutorial on GrooveMail or GroovePages, please uh, subscribe to the channel. So what are we trying to do? We are actually trying to uh, connect our Groove page contact form to our current email address inbox. So we want to be able to have people in our website send us email so we can exchange with them. Actually, we will not use a Groove page contact form, but the contact form from MailChimp. So what are our options when we are looking to connect uh, our Groove pages site with our inbox? So we can see, uh, we can use the Zap here integration. So uh, with this, actually, you have 100 Zap per month and you need an email provider like Gmail, that kind of stuff. I already made a video on this, so you can see it in the card above or in the link in the description below. We can also use SendGrid integration. So since GroovePages has an integration with SendGrid, we can connect both of the, the system together and uh, use SendGrid as uh, the relay to send us an email from our contact form. I have also a video on this that I will show you in the description below or in the card above. Finally, uh, a new feature of MailChimp is, um, and it's not the integration from GroovePages, but it's a new feature of MailChimp with uh, the new contact form feature and the new inbox feature which is I'm pretty excited about actually because it's really give you a complete uh, solution to manage your uh, email that you're receiving from your website. Actually, this is an extension from the feature that MailChimp already have that was you're able to connect an email that you're sending and when people reply to the email that you sent, they, it will go in the inbox of MailChimp in the website instead of in your in personal inbox to distinguish the thing between everything. So, so what we need, so we need a free uh, GrooveFunnel account. And actually uh, this week, just we add a new feature in GrooveFunnel that is the Groove blog, uh, which awesome. So uh, if you go check it out, is also we need a free uh, MailChimp account. So these are the two things that we need to um, do our uh, integration. So how we will do it? Actually, we will configure MailChimp contact form feature. We will integrate the contact form into uh, our Groove pages and we will test the integration. So let's do it. So, so this is the current uh, integration I'm using. So I'm using a, a form from uh, Groove pages that will connect to uh, Zapier to uh, send actually an email to uh, my inbox. What we are looking at, actually, we will look at integrating the contact form of MailChimp. So in order to do this, what we need, we need to log in into our uh, MailChimp account and we go to audience. And in audience, we have a new feature that is the inbox feature here. That to say it's managed one-on-one -on -one conversation and response from your audience. So. In order to be able to have the contact form of MailChimp into your website, you need to go into forms and come into contact form here and configure it. So actually, since I already configure it, I'm at the end of the workflow here. But if you come back here at the start, you have the contact form so you can change the order of the field you can uh, set an image, change the title here, change the color of the background of the page here. And all this is live. So if you do a change here, uh, everywhere where you use this contact form, it will be replicate. You don't need to redo or rework the code. Uh, you can also, like you said, add first name, create a new field. So you can manage, this is resemble a bit like when you're working with normal form in MailChimp. The subscribe to our newsletter here is a feature that will define if your subscriber will be marked as subscribed because everyone that is sending you an, an email with from the website will end up actually uh, 
in the main contact list but they will not be uh, indicated as subscribed so we will see uh, this in a few moments so for myself i will not change this i will go uh, to the next step this is the confirmation that we are uh, receiving their email so you can change that message also as usual finally this is something that is interesting so you can add tags to your contact so in your contact list actually you can add tags and i already talked about in another video uh, how to manage tag uh, with for example zapier or other system so uh, now this actually is uh, where you can define a tag for people that are sending you email from the contact form so by personally i will take uh, i will add a tag like as a website because i want to be clear that people are tagged as a website and, and this is also help you if you want you can send uh, a thank you email and you can send another email uh, uh, so you can do a sequence with tags so this can uh, be interesting also and finally so this is the contact form so this is all set so what you will need to do is to publish the form because actually when you arrive here the form is you need to click on publish because the form is unpublished so you can publish it and when you publish it you have um, the the link here that you will want to use so in order to use this thing so this thing actually if you come here and open in a new window you see that this link is basically the form by itself uh, what is interesting is that we will embed this form into a Groove, a groove page. So to do that, you will need this link. Uh, I have I have give you in the description below a link to a document that gives you the steps because you will need this code actually into your uh, website to embed the form from uh, from Mailchimp. So if I come back here, so you see I already done that here so basically i added to the page an element which is actually a code embed element here so i dragged that one there like that and uh, below here i have pasted the code below so i will remove this one just so i start over with you so come in here what we will take we will take this code here like that and I will come back into Groove here, paste the code here. And we need to replace actually this here with the link from our contact form like that. So it's pretty straightforward here. Uh, this is for the scrolling. So since this form here is a bit big, sometime in your page, it could be a scrolling. So I will define it to no because I don't want to have a scroll actually. I, and I want the height to be height enough to, to see the, the submit button and the error message. So we will see this in a few moments. So I will remove this. I will look at this, save. So you see the form is here. And what is important actually is that the height of the form be height enough. Code here, size, Perfect. So we saw that the sizing was not good. So I just re reworked the sizing. So you see this, the pages, this heights. If I go to submit, it's important that I see the error and still see the submit button. So if you change, add a field, remove a field in your Groove page integration, you will need to change this number, but be sure to add enough space. So when you are in your form with error, you still be able to submit the, the form. And when we resize, actually, uh, you will see that the resizing work well. So you have a, a smaller view, higher view. So this is all good. So, so we can uh, actually, so we can save this. We can publish this going back to uh, the audience. So if I come back into all my, all my contact, uh, you see here that this is a, someone that was submitted but did not ask for the email marketing. And this one was one submitted with the website tag and subscribed to the mailing list. When the people are checking the subscribe to our newsletter, 
they will uh, send you the email that they want and they will also um, receive if you're in double opt-in mode they will receive the double opt-in email as usual and uh, they will receive an email you will receive an email actually like that so message from your site from your audience so this is nice if you click here you will end up actually into the um, you end up actually into the uh, manager of the inbox and the email and you can uh, for each email you can check if it's done if you want to reply if you want to add a comment and that kind of stuff so it's kind of a help desk manager often that we can that we may see uh, to access the inbox it's pretty straightforward actually in audience you have inbox so you can directly go into your inbox and uh, from your email also you are able to to reply to the email and uh, exchange so let's test this so if we come back to the website that is publish come here so i see here the website so if i submit I don't lose the uh, error message. So as you can see here, you have a thousand word per email. Uh, subscribe to our newsletter here will be able to be checked by the user and uh, you can do submit. So when you submit, you get after thanks you for reaching out. So this is your message that you have defined in MailChimp. If I come back to my subscriber list, you will see that Jeff test is there from website, no uh, marketing approval. So he's not subscribed to the campaign. And if we see what is looking, the email that we receive. So I receive that email actually. So you see the email of the user, you see the message, you can click view message, which will bring you back here where you are able to reply to the user. So if, for example, I reply from here, and I send the message. So you have also the option to save draft and close and to add attachment. So it's pretty interesting to see uh, the, uh, the option that we have actually in this. We send the message, we, get, we still get the, uh, the information here and we will see what message that we receive, the user receive on his hand actually. So the message that we re receive actually is looking like this. So from you, uh, to the person and the message. So straightforward, um, it's all good. So so that's it for this feature actually. So I find it pretty, pretty interesting to have this feature uh, since I'm using uh, Zapier for uh, starting a sequence for free, uh, I may try to change uh, my uh, contact form to actually this usage of, of, the, of, the, of the system. You can change the color background so it's pretty flexible i think it's pretty interesting so hope you enjoy it if you like it hit the thumbs up and if you want to be notified when i do other uh, video that kind of stuff on act for groove pages uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and uh, hope you enjoy it have a good day bye bye